Good evening, Ape Nation. Guys, what's going on? It is Monday, February 21st, 2022. And the market was obviously closed today in observance of President's Day. But that doesn't mean there wasn't any news that came out or things we can talk about. Just in case, for a heads up, if anybody tried to reach out to me in the last 24 hours, I always take that amount of time, at least try to once per week, to unplug from YouTube and this AMC play and just regather my thoughts and uh, try to take an objective look at my position again. And nothing's changed. So if you did reach out to me, I'll be getting back to you in the next 24 hours. And I apologize about the delay. With that being said, let's get into the subject matter at hand. The few topics I want to go into, but before we do any of that, shoot a speeder. In case this is your first time clicking on one of my videos, just so you know, I have a large stake in AMC, a smaller stake in GME. I believe in the MOAS. I don't do dates, times, or prices, but I do cover the news and anything that has to do with AMC or the broader market in general. With that being said, I'm going to have to backtrack to Saturday for just a minute because I did at the end of my video on Saturday make some personal comments about the Ottawa police who were videotaped running down that old lady uh, in the walker by the Clydesdale horses. Turns out that she was actually a native Mohawk woman, uh, so uh, indigenous person to Canada. Now, as you guys know, I always read all the comments. I don't always answer them, but I try to. I'm not going to dox this person, but I am going to put his comment up, and I want to address it and get ahead of it because I will not bend the knee for apologies uh, like some other people. That's just not my style. When I say something, I mean it. So let me address this comment. This particular person said, the police have done and continue to do worse in this country, hypocrite, followed by clown face emojis, seven to be specific. Now I'm gonna freely admit that my answer to this gentleman was a little impulsive and maybe childish. So let me break it down like this. In Saturday's video, I clearly stated that I have varying opinions on police I take every interaction on a case-by-case -case basis. Uh, I look at them all individually and then make a judgment call on what I think, and I think everyone should do that. Um, but that's up to you. As far as being a hypocrite, I don't know when I've ever said anything else about the police in the 200-something videos that I have uploaded to YouTube. And so just for future reference, anyone in the comments, you're fixing to catch an L if you come with that nonsense to this channel. And from what I can tell, there is some back and forth going on between specific YouTubers, most of who I'm associated with and I consider friends of mine. So I don't think any of that is right. I don't endorse any of it. A matter of fact, I would say you're a fool for even mentioning anything like that. Uh, we're in 2022. Grown ass adult males should know better. And I hope it dies a slow, painful death like the rest of racism has. Uh, for the most part in this country and you know that was one of the biggest things about this movement that i loved was there was none of that and it was going to be really hard for mainstream media and other outlets to try to divide and conquer using the same tactics that they use for the rest of the world outside of this small tight-knit community of amc apes now that we have that taken care of something alarmed me this morning i watched a video from a fellow youtuber and something that he said and look, I've gotten a lot of comments about this, and I hate talking about this. It's probably one of the last times I'm going to actually address it, because if you are that stupid right now to still be listening to this clown, uh, you cannot be saved uh, like most of the people who are left radicals uh, that want communism in this country. So we're going to play this clip, and you can answer down in the comments if you want. But of all the money-making things that this gentleman has coming up in his life, there's one huge big one that I noticed was missing. And tell me if you guys can figure out what it is. Cue the video. Well, people today are doing YouTube videos and talking shit and nonsense and DD that means nothing to nobody. I'm setting up my week for money. 
I'm the one that's right now scanning what fucking calls I'm going to be looking into for certain plays that are happening. I'm the one looking at the commodities market right now. I'm the one that fucking turned around and rebuilt myself financially before YouTube. I'm the one that has a future outside of YouTube because I have business projects on the side that have nothing to do with YouTube. So at the end of the day, if YouTube decides to monetize my channel, which they did, and sell space on my channel, and I'm responsible for the taxes or the money that they put in, then I'll take that money too. But you know what? I don't take money from you. So when people are out there, lose paid, lose paid, you damn fucking right I'm gonna get paid. I'm a capitalist motherfucker, and at the end, I wanna take everybody with me because I enjoy when I have rich friends. So for all the haters out there, hate motherfuckers because I got a $3 million book plan set up. I got a fucking two business projects on the side. I got a chemical patent I'm working on. And at the end of the day, I'm just a lovable motherfucker and I got good things going forward. And I'm retired. So I just want to say something. Nah, bro, I think you said enough. So in that conversation that he was having to his audience, and I just found it a little surprising that with this squeeze imminent, like upon us, and we're about to cash in finally on AMC and the squeeze play, talking about all the ways that you plan on making money going forward or in the past, except AMC, and everyone on your channel is following you for AMC, not any of those other things. I just hope those people understand what they've gotten themselves into and hopefully they can get out of it. But in all honesty, I don't know how much of an effect he even has on this play anymore. If you just think about it realistically, the guy's putting out 10 to 12 videos a day. He probably has somewhere between 10 and 30,000 people who are watching every video. There aren't millions of individual people watching his videos to get those numbers. It's the same people watching the same 10 videos per day. So how much impact does he actually have out there? I'm not sure. But as time goes on, he has less and less influence. And therefore, I want to talk about him less and less. All right, so let's go to this article in Barron's uh, that seems like the California Public Employees Retirement System has more than quadrupled investments in AMC and GME. Two high-profile meme stocks. This article is from February 21st, today, 7 this morning. And they, it looks like they're dramatically lifting its holdings in Berkshire Hathaway. Which is very interesting. And I have a couple different theories on that. But I'm probably not going to have time for them tonight. So hopefully tomorrow we can get into what we think might be going on here. And why possibly they'd be buying volatile meme stocks right now. We can have a discussion about that. And before I let you go, last message that I have to all the truckers out there in the U.S. convoy that's headed east right now to D.C. for the State of the Union address. After what happened in Canada and they cracked down on all the truckers in Ottawa, I would say, why are you even bothering getting your trucks and driving all that way out to from California or wherever you're coming from to D.C.? If... New York or D.C. or any other major metropolitan city in the United States were to go three days without a delivery of food, it would cause a mass panic. They constantly rely on trucking to bring them new merchandise, uh, produce, fresh produce, dairy, all of that. Think about the chaos that would be caused by just food running off the shelves and them not being restocked for a couple days. Everyone would lose their minds. So my message to you guys is, don't waste all that gas money. Don't drive all the way cross country. Don't have the possibility of getting arrested for a peaceful protest. Just stay home. Don't supply anything. Don't move your vehicle. Don't work. Three days, this could be over. All right, guys, All we're right. going to cut it off here tonight. This video is getting long. We're going to get into this Barron's article tomorrow. As always, thank you for all the views, the likes, the comments, my new subscribers, my OGs. I appreciate each and every one of you. We are here to break the wheel. This is Ape Nation. I'm the Massalorian, and I'm out.